Hey guys, Frank from Earth Motor Cars, and I want to introduce this absolute beast, 1970 Dodge Challenger RT Hemi. This thing is amazing. And remember, if you want us to continue bringing some cool cars out, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. So come check out this beast here. First thing you see on this is that massive, massive hood right there in that 426 Hemi. Shaker hood, probably one of the most desirable options in this car. And having a beast under here, which I'm going to show you in a couple of minutes, it just makes this car just stand out. Now, this is a pro touring car. It's a conversion. It's not a real 426 Hemi. If it was, it'd be worth probably triple what we're asking for. But come check out some cool features. First thing you see on this car, look how slick the paint is. Whoever painted it, we got this car like this. So whoever painted it did a fantastic job. I got to run out kudos to them. And you can see it's really consistent all the way through. The sheet metal on this car, you can hear it's aluminum everywhere. I didn't notice any Bondo at all when I did my initial inspection on it. The emblems are all correct. These are original emblems to the car. This was a real Challenger, wasn't a real RT car back in 1970, but somebody did a really nice job bringing it back to an RT. If you look at the body fitment, the door panels, the door panels line up beautifully. The chrome on this car, the aluminum on this car, all in fantastic shape. So it tells me it's probably somewhat of recent restoration within the last five years. Come on over here and take a look at the red stripe. This really sets out the car to me. Red stripe right down here, correct for the car as well too. But the one thing you're gonna see when I take into the interior of this car, the red interior with black, I just don't think there's a nicer color combination than this. You got the real dual exhaust, which would have been on the, the exact car as a Hemi back in the day. So you got your dual exhaust there. You got your fuel filler, your gas tank right over here. One thing that intrigued me about this car more than the color and that it is a super, super cool car with a Hemi in it are these wheels. These are aluminum wheels. These are a one piece aluminum wheel. They were made out of a chunk of aluminum and they were cut to resemble what the HUD cap looked like. So you got a solid wheel behind this wheel. You got your ugly drum brake, but it hides your drum brake so you can't really see it. It's got front disc brakes on it. So, and these are also staggered. So if you look at the size of these, there's a lot more lip on this wheel here. And you can see the three or four levels of lip right there compared to the front. Just a much narrower wheel. So that would be your staggered fitment on the wheel. Narrow wheel, but it is the correct wheel. And this does have the disc brake behind it. So I'm gonna go into the engine. I'm gonna show you a couple of features that make this car an everyday driver. So let's pop it here and let's show you. Got to slide over, it's a dual. So they want to make sure that there's a lock on it. So you slide, you pull, that protects the hood from just flying out. So a couple things that make this car really enjoyable to drive. Number one, power brakes. This car's got power brakes. It stops like a modern car. You can always tell from your booster right there. Uh, you know, we'll recondition this. We'll make this look absolutely brand new. But your reservoir, your booster, First thing it tells you, power brakes on the car. The car stops without slamming on the brakes. Uh, it's responsive, really, really similar to what a modern car would brake like. Come check this out too. Power steering car. So with power steering, you can literally take this wheel with one finger. You can turn this car pretty easily. Because remember, you got this monster underneath this car. The 426 Hemi, probably one of the most iconic engines back in the day. Not only that, the racing heritage, the racing history. And if you take a look at this, this is pretty cool. The spark plugs were in the center of the valve cover. You can see the size of the valve cover. They're massive on this car. But your spark plugs are right in there. 426, I believe it was right around 425 horsepower. Under the hood looks really nice. I'm going to show you one more thing that I really think is cool. So this is called a shaker hood, which many of you know. But the shaker emblem was put in the car. And a lot of people look at them a lot of times. And they say, well, why is that blurry? The shaker emblem resembled the car shaking because it's such a fast car. And you can see it, it almost looks blurry right there if you look at it. That's part of the beauty of a shaker and it is correct for the car as well. It, it was placed there, it should be there. All your shaker cars came with that decal. So you got that there as well. So pretty simple. Just let the hood close on you right there. Now remember, this is the Dodge version of what the Plymouth was. The Plymouth is your holy grail. The Dodge also made a Hemi, so this is your Challenger. If you look at the interior of this car, this really stands out to me. 
I mean, you got a black car with red interior. You can see all the seats are original to the car. You got your high back bucket seats. This is a pretty unusual car. You got bucket seats. A lot of times you can do a bench on this, but the shifter's on the console. Normally don't see that. This was one of your cars that wasn't optional for that. What I would have liked to see, obviously, is a four speed on the ground there and with a console, but we may tinker with a conversion on this car. We'll see how it does as it is. And we might tinker with a conversion on this car, making it a, a real four speed car. So 440, I mean, you do a car like that, you do a Hemi engine with the 426, you put manual transmission in these cars, and man, it just takes you to a whole new level of car. So if you hang on a second, we're gonna take this thing for a ride. We're gonna show you what it's really made of, and I appreciate you checking us out. Starts right up. That's what you wanna look for in these classic cars. It's always a great thing. Power steering, once again, as I mentioned before, just makes it so easy to drive. You know, you're not driving a modern Ferrari or anything like that, but in 1970, you're driving a real bad boy. That's for sure. Automatic transmission, it's a three-speed automatic. Uh, horsepower, once again, is around 425 horsepower. You can hear that power there. Boy, this thing has a manual transmission car. It would be just so cool. So it's just a real easy car to drive. 50 miles an hour in a matter of five, six seconds. Got us there. The power brakes are unbelievable. The stopping on this car, really nice driving car. We'll go through, we'll do a little suspension work on it. We'll probably modernize the springs. And, and I, I can tell you this, make sure you have plenty of gas in these cars when you're driving it, because it will suck all the gas down this 426. Probably average around five miles to gallon. Then again, back then, gas was what, you know, 10 cents, 15 cents a gallon. It's a little bit of a difference, but just a real cool car. You know, this car, like the Boss 429, which was Ford's NASCAR car, uh, very quiet car. Uh, unlike the Corvettes back in the day, since the Corvettes had the side pipes and stuff and the Cobras, it's just a very quiet car. You know, the steering radius is good. You got a little bit of scrape in the front wheel because it's a larger wheel than what came from the factory. But it's an easy car to drive once again because of that. So, and man, it's just, just like driving a normal car, man, with a, a bad boy 426 Hemi in it. You know, we'd like to go through these things. We'll go through the tuning of it. We'll go through the, the mechanics of it as well and just make sure our client's getting the best car out there. But if you get an opportunity to drive a 70 Hemi car, I highly advise you to drive it because just a fun car to drive and a, and a fun car to be seen in. And I'll tell you, if you want to make a statement, this is the right car for you. So let's get this thing wrapped up. And once again, I appreciate you guys checking us out. We're going to have a bunch more cars coming real soon.